now then YouTube I hope you're all well so you're all wondering why I'm in the smoking emporium and I'm not keeping it lit let's find out what's been going on so thanks guys for all the new and show concern I've been a bit under the weather nothing too major um, <laughs> I've had a bit of a joke with Tom York because he actually said make sure he gets some time off and so has Mark Welsh Piper and well I ended up having to and it would have been a lot better to have some time off voluntarily but I didn't and we are where we are <clears throat> so I'm giving it a break on the pipe for a little while until I get fully back uh, on the mend but we're going to do things a little bit different today as soon as I'm off and I'm on alone and got a bit more time um, it's going to be a yabo and it's going to be regarding this the LCS stubby don't billiard stay tuned so the main purpose of this video um, I'm not sure how long ago it was maybe maybe it's approaching two years now I don't know I commissioned my first pipe off for Simon and uh, it wasn't long before we became friends and helped one another out and one thing or another and I really really enjoyed Simon's friendship <coughs> he's a really interesting and an intelligent man um, but it was not the first pipe I commissioned from him it was actually the first pipe he gifted me that changed my whole persona on pipes now as you know my favourite pipe up to then was a 320 and it still is a favourite still enjoy the 320 but I didn't like bent pipes you know this was as bent as I'd want to go um, the only reason for aesthetics and originally um, I'd read where it was beneficial as a new pipe smoker to try and stick to straight pipes because with a straight pipe, I don't think there is any now. Um, with a straight pipe, you can argue that straight, the dottle can't really run down the stem. So that's that's what uh, I've been into. And then I showed interest in a pipe and I'd been helping Simon with one of his projects. I don't know what I'd made him something or something. And Simon bless him decided to uh, give me the pipe I showed an interest in. Which we've all known we go on and on and on about it. And that's his pipe. <laughs> and this is when it all changed for me because this is when I realised that a pipe's not only got to, to look good it's got to feel good it's got to be the complete experience and this is the first time I knew that you could put a pipe in your mouth and hardly know it was there 
and it's it sounds cheesy but it's true honestly it's true and not long after that i got another pipe off simon it's actually a seconds pipe not that it matters it still smokes perfectly virtually the same stamp and I was talking to him about commissioning me another pipe with that uh, beautiful Eldridge flame grain and of course it had to be a um, it had to be a stubby bent billiard so you have to excuse me I'm just struggling a bit um, so I commissioned him to make this stubby bent billiard and then we was also talking about a silver spigot idea that I'd got or faux silver spigot idea and uh, how I'd like it an author with this faux single uh, faux silver sp spigot something along the lines of this which is a pipe that I really really do enjoy and I hold it high upon the collection it's a stunning author pipe that so it went it weren't long before I said you know what Simon can we do this silver spigot idea on a stubby bent billiard because I need I need seven of them because I, I'm, I'm not smoking anything else these days which brings gonna bring me on to another conversation I mean I've got some stunning pipes you know obviously not everybody's cup of tea I mean just look at that these ones are clean because they've been on display Peterson Supreme Uh, gold band never spoke smoked it above twice you know because I've changed I, I only smoke filter pipes now as a rule and I'll only smoke but still be burnt billiards really now I mean I bought this off a sign in the other day It's on, you know, excuse me, on the same lines. S slightly different geometry, but basically the same. It smokes the same. This is another little pipe that I uh, don't know if I did a video or not. I uh, refurbished. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. Now, this is only the the one that's coming with the faux uh, spigot. Some of you guys will have seen it anyway on Simon's channel. But it hasn't arrived yet. Um, but, we can take a look at this. Bent billiard with the flame Eldridge, no problem. So let's have a look. Thank you, Simon. For you guys 
who have uh, had pipes off salmon before, you'll know about that sticker. And anyway, here it is. Wow. That is better than I could have imagined. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. <clears throat> That's a stunning pipe. Similar dimensions to this one, which is good. Feels nice. You know, we'll take a look at the drilling and whatever. But there's no real need to. It's slightly keeled. To be expected for a pipe of that angle you know we're looking but like i say there's no need all salmon's pipes are always drilled to perfection obviously it's a nine millimeter filter brass band polished rim i'll stick a bowl coating on it of some honey and decide what this pipe's going to be but that uh, that stem materials really set it off um, <clears throat> thank you very much Simon that's everything I imagined and more I can't wait to show my granddad as you know he's a big fan um, <clears throat> when I'm back at work, I shall definitely be showing him, and uh, he'll be looking at that for, for hours, I'm telling you. So, thank you again. And I suppose this now brings us on to my next conversation. So, I've got a lot of pipes. Well, no, I've got quite a few pipes. And some of them have never been smoked, probably never going to get smoked. Some of them I've bought second hand and never smoked. Some of them I shall keep because uh, they mean something to me. But there's a lot of pipes that could go. Um, just they take your room up here. And, I mean, it's like this straight jack bernard never been smoked just collecting dust excuse me this straight peterson silver spigot just collecting dust they're not all straight pipes there's some bent pipes I wouldn't smoke. Like this. As you can see, they just want... I'll have, I'll have to get the polish out and get them polished. Like I say, it's because they've been on display. That's a brand new pipe. There's all sorts. There's more pipes than you could think of. There's a full set of these. Peterson... Donegals and some spares, all non filtered. Now, what I'm going to do, obviously, on a separate video, is list all the parts that are for sale. But for me, it's not about money, it's about just clearing some space. And I like the thought that. If any new pipe smoker, and obviously they'll have to just prove that they're a new pipe smoker by 
not been in low ITPC long. Um, once a pipe, whatever it's listed as, they get it for 50%. Because, you know, I'd like to encourage anybody who's getting into into the YTPC to uh, to uh, flourish so that's definitely on the cards or should I say that's a definite all new pipe smokers will get 50% off um, and all prices will be negotiable because as I've said I'm not in it for the money I'm in it just to clear up so Thanks again, guys, for all your support. And I've had a few new subscribers. It's been a bit funny with subscribers lately. I've been on the 395 mark for ages. It gets up to 399, then goes back down, and then goes up, and then goes back down. But um, I noticed I've had another few subscribers, which hasn't put the count up, which is weird. But thanks guys for that. You know who we are. I can't always see the name, so I can't all some people's channels are on private. You can it just says a new subscriber. So <clears throat> thanks for thanks for that. And of course when we get to four hundred subs I'm sure we can conjure up a, a giveaway of some sort. So as I've said, thank you all for your concerns. I didn't think thrush was a bad thing until I've had it. And it's absolutely terrible. I actually ended up with oral thrush and skin thrush, which now they think could be hand, foot and mouth. So, uh, for all you guys that's had thrush, you'll know. And for the use that haven't, if you just imagine pouring bully knot soup in your mouth so it burns all the skin off and it all goes rough and blisters, that's thrush. So, as I've said, it's put me off pipe smoking for a while. Not that that's what's caused it. The doctor said uh, it believes it's stress. My blood pressure a bit high and one thing and another. Um, and he wanting to do blood tests and things because I've not been to doctors since I was 13 so he wanted to uh, do a bit of catching up but anyway guys thanks for being there for me um, thanks for keeping me all entertained with all your videos and whatnot and for you guys that are only here just to watch thanks again uh, it's always good to hear from the regulars, Big County Briar, Tom York, etc, etc. So, until next time, keep it lit.